This video is going to be a film study look at the contribution that Trenton Simpson made during the Ravens Thursday night football loss to the Chiefs. I'm not going to directly compare him in it from a visual standpoint with Malik Harrison and other guys that were put in coverage situations in the slot against Rasheed Rice. I don't see the reason to do that. Uh, nonetheless, I'm going to focus on defense for the first day with my channel. I, I think that last year during the AFC Championship game loss, I made statements about the defense, and, and there's I'm, I'm fine if people didn't believe me or didn't agree. This time I want to use film to document some of it. In this case, I am trying to accentuate or display the positive because Trenton Simpson in his first game as a starter, well, first game as a starter in 2024, he had the Week 18 cameo against the Steelers last year, proved to be very versatile, and I thought really was his ability to adapt in the middle of the play was what stuck out with me. Besides the athleticism, some of the tackling ability, he did get juked um, in, in tight space one time by Pacheco. It was an inside run play, I believe third quarter or something like that. He got juked, and, and Pacheco ended up getting five yards. I did, not, I did not find that play. It's not intentional for me to omit it, to be honest with you. But nonetheless, I was impressed with Trenton Simpson. Don't really know at this point how many snaps he actually played. I know the snap count came out, but we're going to jump right into the film, and we're going to – show the last play first uh, because I just think it's so ridiculous. Patrick Mahomes does stuff like this all the time, uh, scrambling, creating space, creating time for him to allow his teammates to get open. In this case, Simpson is a guy who appears to be covering the running back to the boundary initially. This is fourth quarter, two and a half minutes left. It's a third and 10. Mahomes ends up catching the ball. Like Credit to Mahomes. He's able to redirect. He's an underrated athlete. It's just obvious at this point. You know, what level athlete, how how great, you know, he's great, period. So he's able to make this catch and, and not just preserve the football, but also prevent the Ravens from gaining uh, what I think would be about 13 or 14 seconds on the clock. But here's Simpson at the bottom of the screen. He's released the running back, Pacheco, and IDs that Mahomes is throwing the football. That That is an incredibly athletic play. We have one defender here for two guys. I think it's Rice and Kelsey. I could be wrong. And were it not for Trenton Simpson, the game is probably pretty much over at that point. It's a third and ten, like I said. I think Rasheed Rice catches that football and gets the first down running across the middle. I, force multiplier is something I've heard used for Trenton Simpson because he's so so versatile. I don't know if force multiplier is the right word. Variable impact because there's nothing about this that is schemed. There's nothing about this that should show up on film. The field is 53 and a third yards wide and 100 or 120 yards long, guys counting the end zones. And Patrick Mahomes, one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time, maybe the greatest, you know, whatever your opinion is. I don't frankly care, but Trenton Simpson's able to get his hands in the one place, the one lane where Patrick Mahomes is throwing the football. It's because of his awareness, his ability to adapt in the middle of the play. This is the same play, end zone angle. Then we'll re rewind, get back to the beginning of the game, sh show his um, split sack. With Matabike, you can see he's on Pacheco. The Chiefs do a lot of this at times, chipping edge defenders with the running back tight ends. A brilliant play, if you ask me. Could have easily gone down as an interception. Mahomes is aware. He's able to – look, there's not – if you've ever played sports or anything where it's competitive, to be able to jump like Mahomes is, he's his both cleats are in the, in the air right now, and then recognize the need to jump again, immediately set your feet, and jump and catch the ball with Owe and Simpson surrounding you. That's an incredible play by Patrick Mahomes, only put in that position by the tip, the timing, the awareness, and athletic ability of Simpson. We have a unique talent here, if you ask me. So getting back to the beginning of the game, I think halfway through the first quarter, split sack between Simpson and Matabike uh, as Mahomes tries to step up. I felt like our rush lanes last night – 40% of the game, I felt like we were appropriately rushing the quarterback, meaning our rush was synced up with the coverage. I felt like there were some times it was not, and we ended up getting upfield, Mahomes scrambling. Not that this is one of those situations, but Simpson and Queen, excuse me, Simpson and Smith did a great job of matching the running backs. In this case, since the running back veered off to the right, Smith takes him over, and now Simpson is clean or clear to go ahead and sit in the middle of the field, the low hole, and then possibly be used as his QB spy. In this case, him and Matabike end up getting a split sack. Same play from the all-22 angle. Simpson is here. This is a first and 10. Halfway through the first quarter, the Chiefs have already scored once. Big play, if you ask me. They, I think they were still able to score on that possession. Second possession. 
into the boundary where he's generally located unblocked, don't get me wrong, but his ability to close space, he's got range. Not range on like his jumper, but he's got range from a defensive standpoint. He's here, coming downhill. You got a lot going on. You got the split flow action by the H back, tight end, whatever you want to call them. Potential reverse coming here, which they had already scored on at this point. Simpson holds on the backside, able to fit it up. I think it goes down for a two yard gain for Pacheco, who, who ran hard, but I think at the end of the day, the Chiefs only end up with 72 yards rushing. It's actually not on the field on this one, but I want to show this play. Uh, maybe this is a one-play Wednesday play. We're in dime. And so I love that because it's third and five. Mahomes is obviously a threat to scramble. I think this is an illustration of one of the things Calvin Noy can do to help other people. He's going to stem down. He's going to pick the guard. A clean pick right here such that Matabike can roll over the top. Again, we're in dime, so we've got six DBs on the field. Our Darius Washington, man. Uh, at no point in this route, when you watch it, does Xavier Worthy look open to me. This, to me, is Patrick Mahomes, and all NFL quarterbacks do that, don't get me wrong, Did, predetermining where to throw the football based upon the coverage and the pre the amount of pressure that he has. Mahomes is extremely intelligent, not really being critical here, but just illustrating that at no point in this route is Xavier Worthy open at all. Maybe Mahomes saw the safety sit here. Why can the safety sit? Because we have one less inside linebacker on the field, one more coverage guy, DB. We've got Hamilton. We've got Stevens, Marlon, Ardarius Washington, Jackson, Eddie Jackson, that is, and Marcus Williams. Beautiful play. Again, Trenton Simpson not involved. Okay, so this is, I'm going to give you, I think, one angle of this one. Simpson's actually not on the play here, but what I want to note is that, in my opinion, the look that we're giving to 13 personnel. You've got two tight ends here, another tight end here. It's first and 10. I believe this is the first play of the Chiefs' third possession. If I remember correctly, this is when the referees had trouble spotting the football. They had a lot of trouble Thursday night, but in this particular instance, they began to spot it at the 21 and then went back to the negative 19. I'm interested in why we're in our dime look. We do have Harrison on inside linebacker along with Roquan Smith. Nickel defender and corner, Kyle Hamilton and Marlon Humphrey. Marcus Williams, presumably that's Eddie Jackson, I think I see a three, and Brandon Stevens. So we're in our nickel against 13 personnel. Interesting strategical um, choice for us. We are filling downhill, don't get me wrong, but Pacheco always seems to be one of those guys that if things are stacked up, what looked like maybe a two-yard gain, they always end up being a four or a five. Browns run a lot of this where the running back comes downhill, and then you've got these guys looping to the outside, basically two blockers out on the edge, almost ends up looking like sweep, even though the path wasn't sweep initially. Interesting tactical choice. Two plays in a row, not talking about Simpson, so let's get back to him. Beautiful play. In the slot against Rasheed Rice, it's a first and 20. The Chiefs have just been called for a penalty, which seemed like it was few and far between at times. And yes, Simpson hooks Rasheed Rice with his Top side arm, right arm. When you see the end zone angle, you'll see it. Mahomes is already throwing the football out of here. A lot of space in the middle of the field. This was schemed up by the Chiefs very well. Give them credit. I do have some uh, negative thoughts about us consistently putting Malik Harrison, Roquan Smith, and some of those guys in these situations when we know it's a pass play. I don't. I am an advocate. I have one of those people who says we do not always have to initially run for rush for. I think you can have a layered rush, and when someone like, in this case, Rasheed Rice, has beat us on so many of these routes to this point, I think there needs, there needs to be more variability, more adjustments uh, by our, by our second-level defenders and our defensive line. I did not see a, a ton of communication last night that what I would call adjustments to the formation, particularly empty. But nonetheless, great play by Trenton Simpson. Give you the end zone angle so you can see it. He's just on the left-hand side of the screen. Rasheed Rice is off screen. Beautiful timing to go get that, get the pass defense. I think he had five tackles, split a sack, only had one pass defense, that one right there that we just showed. The second one, or the, the initial one that I showed you, Mahomes caught so it doesn't go down as a PD. Simpson into the boundary. I love the finish. 
I understand that, you know, at this day and age, we're so worried about tackling out of bounds. I like the flow and the tempo. He can't, he, he has to be this far outside. He's got to allow Roquan to fit on the backside. So I think Simpson's tempoing it perfectly, goes over the top on a scrape, ends up, you can see the burst that Pacheco has. Simpson is able to get there, make the tackle, still ends up being a five yard gain. Active feet. I would say his feet look like an incredibly high level athlete that plays at like a DB position at times. Not all the time. He's certainly an inside linebacker, but the feet and the ability to, to stay in real balance such that he can move to the right or to the left. Again, Pacheco did juke him one time, but I thought Simpson played a whale of a game from the standpoint of displaying everything that he can do. F counter. I'm showing you the end zone angle first because I like the downhill nature of him here. Ball's on the right hash. He's into the boundary like he will always be. Downhill. He ends up, I think, running into or collisioning Jawan Taylor a little bit. He's on an inside release. And then he takes on the pulling tight end at the line of scrimmage, maybe even a half yard in the backfield. Pacheco gets the first down. But this is all this was always important to me and my own limited understanding of inside linebacker play, which is where do you take on blocks? If you take on blocks at your alignment where your feet are at the beginning of the play or pre-snap, then we're 0 and 10. If you take on, so we're talking about his feet being here and the line of scrimmage being here. If you take on blocks in, in this range here, two to two and a half yards down the field, we're five and five or six and four. Again, I coached in high school, so we're talking about a 10 game season. If you take on blocks at the line of scrimmage or behind it, which is really unrealistic to do so consistently, then we are a 10 and 0, 9 and 1 type team. That was a simplistic way of me explaining to our kids the importance level of being downhill. And so I'm pointing it out to you that he's downhill at the line of scrimmage, taking on the tight end. And he does, in fact, get credit for the tackle. I think it goes down as a three yard gain. Same, same, same play, end zone angle. He's to the boundary. Got a great view of his gap into the running back, outside shoulder of Jawan Taylor, and then underneath of the puller. In this case, the tight end gray. Maybe it was a four-yard gain. I think Pierce is on the bottom of the pile as well. The last play that I showed you one more time. This was not meant to be a comprehensive look at every single play that Trenton Simpson was on the field. For him to be drafted in the third round last year, and and additionally, Adisa Isaac in the third round this year, I understand people saying we would have liked to have used one or both of those picks on some offensive talent, wide receiver, whatever the case may be, offensive line. I thought this was a deep offensive line uh, draft, in my opinion. But this is a guy who, I think through one game, has shown us the path. He's shown us the vision, at least, of the Ravens' front office because of how versatile he is, how athletic, the different ways that he can impact the game. We did not see him. Um, in man coverage on a tight end or anything like that down the field, but with the athletic ability that he showed in Thursday night, even though it was a loss, he only had five tackles. Maybe he didn't make enough splash plays for you or others, but in my opinion, gave us a, a, a nice little healthy, healthy taste of what Trenton Simpson, Trenton Simpson could offer this defense in 2024. Upon rewatch of the game, I still am overly negative about the defense overall, but there are some bright spots, and I thought Trenton Simpson was one of them. You guys let me know if you agree with that, if you would have liked for me to show the plays of us getting beat early, particularly Millie Harrison against Pacheco and Millie Harrison against Rasheed Rice, which is just a poor matchup from a schematic standpoint. It's a poor choice by our defensive staff and the guys that are responsible for getting us in the right look. I do wonder about the system that we're in right now in terms of getting us in the right look against the, the formation and the particular threat that the offense and, and their personnel offers on each given play. You guys let me know what you think of the video in the comment section. If you enjoyed it, please let me know. If you think other Ravens fans would enjoy this film study video, the, the first regular season defensive film study video, in this case of Trenton Simpson, then please consider grabbing a link to this video, sharing it out on social media to help this content get more reach.